Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to brand your reseller Plesk panel, your reseller Plesk hosting panel. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to log into the Plesk control panel. And I do have a reseller plan, which means I can create customers, have my own clients, allow them to log into the Plesk control panel under my account. And so, you know, you can come into customers here, add a customer, add some subscriptions, uh, or sorry, add some service plans, which you add a plan, which your customers use, and you limit them on the resources. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to brand your Plesk control panel, uh, how to make it so you can have your own logo right here and use a custom URL. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to tools and utilities, and we're going to head over to Plesk branding. And here you can choose the title and text uh, of here. So you can actually call it, you know, um, let's say super host. That's my company or, you know, Ru Rudy host. server um, or hosting whatever you want to put right it's gonna show up here um, for the customer and now we're gonna choose a file and you're gonna select that that file uh, whether it's a PNG or JPEG it should be a JPEG with a transparent background so it looks nice and then we're gonna click OK so there you go um, if I open this file in a brand new tab, you'll see I've given it spacing um, around the, the the logo just because I want it to be middle. Um, so you can go ahead and play around with your logos to make it fit well. Um, I We have customers that also have put GIFs up there. You can put a GIF and make it an animated logo. So there's just some cool things you can do. Uh, you can also go ahead and create uh, additional links to services. So you can add a custom button um, directly into your Plesk control panel. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. But for right now, we're just going to brand the logo, brand our Plesk control panel for our clients. And we're going to create a custom URL. So the next thing we need to do is we need to choose our custom uh, URL. So I'm going to use rootpaldemo.com as my hosting company that I'm starting. And so I want them to log in, you know, using uh, login.rootpaldemo.com. So to do this, I'm going to need to create an A record at Cloudflare. And the reason I'm going to create an A record at Cloudflare, and you'll have to use Cloudflare for branding and using SSL. And the re there's a reason for that. Plesk does not allow the port 8443 to be non-SSL or to be SSL through other domains. So if you want your login page to be SSL, you're going to need to use Cloudflare or purchase a SSL certificate and install it as a wild card, which can be expensive. Um, and so you will need to use Cloudflare. I recommend you use Cloudflare to do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna head into the DNS and we're gonna create a record called host. And we're gonna point it to the IP address of the server. And I'm gonna click save. And now if we go to host.rootpaldemo.com, it should go right to the login page. There you go. So that is how you create a login for your customers to log in. However, it says Plesk Web Hosting Edition, and we want our logo to show up. So the next thing we have to do, it's very simple. We're going to create a subdomain inside our hosting control panel, because that's how we're going to link this logo to this URL right here. So I'm going to click uh, Add Subdomain, and I'm going to type Host. And I am 
already using as I don't need to secure it because I'm using Cloudflare, which is great. So I'm just going to leave like that and leave this how it is. And I'm going to click OK. And so what this is going to do is my account is now going to know that this has a, uh, a custom logo. So now if I refresh this, um, sorry, let me do it one more time. If I refresh that and now it's going to have the default page because I did create it at a subdomain. And if I hit log into Plesk, it's going to have my logo. Boom. So there you go. And now it's going to be SSL'd and it's going to be SSL'd through Cloudflare, which is what we want because you ha if you don't use Cloudflare, we cannot SSL the 8443 port. Um, Cloudflare bypasses that, so you have to use it um, if you're going to use a custom URL um, for your hosting company. So let's do, you know, let's say, you know, you want to do an A record and you want to call it login. And you want you people to use the login one. So instead of host, we're going to say login. And you'll see it will not have the log the custom URL until we create a subdomain. And I'm going to click OK. So now when people go to login.rootpal.demo.com and they click login to Plesk, there you go. So you can see now it has my custom URL logo. And if you want to remove that, uh, this default page, you can always do that. You can go into um, the file manager and where is that? There we go. And you can just remove that index.html. This gets generated on every account creation. So if you you can actually change it up, you can do whatever you can create, you know, you can put a login custom, you can redirect it. You can do whatever you want on this page. It's just an index.html, but the, you do have to use HTTPS login.rootdemo.com and 8443. And that's how you get to the login page with SSL. And so your customers would enter their username and their password and log in to your reseller hosting control panel. And you do that by creating a customer right here. I'm gonna have another video how to create customers and service plans. So stay tuned, but thank you. This is how you brand your hosting reseller hosting control panel for Plesk and how you create a custom URL. Thank you.